God bless you, Twyla Rouse. Thank you so much for inviting, sharing also on Facebook. God bless you and God morning to you. Hallelujah. We're trying to grow on Facebook so we can get more word out to the people of God. I just believe God that we need him. I believe God that when you receive a right now word in season, literally it can transform your life in Jesus name. And so I'm just believing God, thanking God, trusting him. He is faithful. He is worthy and he is wonderful in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And so, hallelujah, we're about to press in. God bless you, Jolo. Hallelujah. There is a word of the Lord. God bless you and God morning. Lady Bridget, I believe she joined in um, this morning as well. And so um, this morning, I'm going to go into what I heard the Lord say um, a little bit later. Um, but as he was giving me um, the word, he downloaded this, the uh, the um, the scripture in my spirit. And, and I heard him begin to say, if you then being evil, give good, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will I, your heaven? Heavenly Father do for you. And so this morning, I'm going to take you over here to Luke chapter number 11. And um, we're going to start here at verse number one. And I'm going to be going between uh, the message translation as well as the passion translation of the word of the Lord. I believe, God, that this is going to be a very um, comforting word. It's also going to be a very um, uh, um, encouraging word this morning. God bless you, Scott Fearing. God bless you, Taisha Fields. God, Freeds, God, God bless you. And unto you, Lady Vanessa, Dr. Abernathy, thank you so much for coming in the room. Hallelujah. She said this is on point today. Bless Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so with this word, um, I, I just believe God that, you know, it's going to encourage many of you because many of you are closer than close. You're closer than close in Jesus name. And so Luke chapter number 11, verse number one, message translation of the Bible. It says, ask for what you need. One day he was praying in a certain place. And when he finished, one of his disciples said, master teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. So he said, when you pray, pray, say, Father, reveal who you are. How many of you want to understand and come to realize who the father really is? And you cannot know him. You cannot understand him. You cannot uh, begin to grasp or to fathom who the father is unless he begins to literally uh, reveal himself to you. And when he allows himself to unfold it before you, there's nothing like it. I mean, when I tell you uh, about a, a daily walk and relationship with him, where he walks with you when he talks with you you know that used to be songs to me and he tells me I am his own you know and I and we have related to many things that people have said for so long but it's something when you really come into that uh, that own a uh, knowledge of that when you begin to walk with that like when he does walk with you and talk to you and he whispers things to you in the middle of the night and when he begins to give you revelation and understanding of even where you are and what you're going through and you know all that and so the Bible says, Father, reveal who you are. You know, when he begins to reveal himself, uncover himself, you know, share with he, you his secrets and his mysteries. And, you know, just like when you are entering in a relationship with anybody, you don't always just come out the gate telling them everything. But at the more and more time you spend together, the more the time you spend together in the wee hours of the night, you begin to say things and you ask questions that might seem more vulnerable. You get a little bit more serious serious, you know, if you're going to be conversing anyway, you might as well. And so he says, Father, reveal who you are. I want you to expose this to me. I want you to give me the revelation, pull back the layers and the covers, you know, I want to be intimate with him and he with me. And so it says, uh, set the world right. This is really, really simple. Just set the world right. I don't have time to figure out, you know, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do that? Just set it right. Listen, I just need you to set it right for me. And that that goes along with the word that God gave us earlier this week that he is literally setting everything right. Uh, hallelujah. He, he's setting everything as it should be. I believe that was in Ephesians. And so listen, hallelujah. The Bible says, excuse me, it was in Philippians chapter number three. And so then he goes on to say, keep us alive with three square meals. I, I, I'm just keeping it real simple and, I, and I'm keeping it 100. Just keep us alive with these three square meals. Keep us forgiven with you and forgiving others. Listen, at the end of the day, that's what's going to also help keep you in position. Hallelujah. For what God desires to do, it keeps you in alignment. Lord, just let me be forgiven and, and I will continue to 
to forgive others uh, because the Bible says in Mark chapter number 11, you know, if you have ought against any, I need you to go get that right. Let you not think you're going to receive anything from the Lord. I need you to go set that right and then come back and finish your prayer. You know, when he was talking about in Mark chapter number 11, have faith in God and you can say to this mountain, be moved from here to there and it'll be moved. And, you know, and, 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 and so, but then he goes on to say, but if you have ought in your heart, I need you to get that right and then come back. And so we want to be forgiven and we want to forgive others. He says, keep us safe from ourselves and the devil. Listen, I need to be kept safe from me, you know, because of myself and in my own flesh dwelleth no good thing. And he said, keep me safe from myself. Don't let me mess stuff up. Don't let me mess me up. You know what I mean? Don't let me get me off course. Don't let me and your worries, your fears, your concerns get you off course. Don't let doubt, don't let self doubt, don't let self fear get in the way. Keep me safe from myself and the devil. I don't want to disqualify myself. I don't want to get myself out of position. I just want to be right with you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And, and so that's what the, his prayer is that he says. Now on to verse number five, and I'm going to pick up here in the passage translation of the Bible. And, and the Bible says in, in Matthew, uh, excuse me, Luke chapter number 11, in the passage translation, it said, then Jesus gave this illustration. Imagine what would happen if you were to go to one of your friends in the middle of the night and pound on his door and, and shout, please do you have some food you can spare and a friend just arrived at my house unexpectedly and I have nothing to serve him but your friend says why are you bothering me the doors are locked and my family and I are all in bed do you expect me to get up and give you our food but listen because of your shameless impudence you know you ain't got ain't no shame in my game you know what I'm saying and, and because you have no shame even though it's the middle of the night your friend will get up out of his bed and give you all that you need. And so it is, he says, with your prayers, ask and you'll receive, seek and you'll discover. Listen, there's a lot of us you've been asking, but you haven't been seeking. He says, seek and you'll discover. You'll, you're fine. There's so many things that God is desiring for you to, for you to see in this season before he renders unto you that which you've been praying and believing for. You know, yesterday I was like, Father, you know, what is the right question I should ask you? Because, you know, when he's trying to reveal something, certain things to you. There's things that you might pick up, but when you just ask him directly, what is it that you want me to see? Give me eyes to see. And he says, seek and you'll discover. Sometimes the father will just allow you to uncover one small thing. That way you will continue to search for more. And in your search and your pursuit for more, hallelujah, he'll bring you into a wealth of understanding. And then one step leads to the next step. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verse number 12, because many of us read verse number 11, and that's cool and that's good you know for I know the thoughts that I think towards you good thoughts of good and not of evil to give you expected in and an end worth hoping for but it goes on to tw verse 12 that says then when you call on me hallelujah when you begin to seek me with all your heart then I'm gonna be found of you and some of us you know we too cute to really seek him with all of our heart you know when you get real desperate you are uncovering anything and everything because I just gotta find it I gotta get to him I gotta get to Jesus I gotta get to an understanding and he said, when, when you search for me with all you got, then I'll be found of you. Hallelujah. And, and when I'm found of you, hallelujah, when, that's when I will hear you. And that's when I'll turn away your captivity. But so many times we're trying to keep it all together for everybody else. And he's like, no, you can call on me with all you got. Like this is where you can have your moment and you can trust in me. And we're going to get there in just a moment. So he said, hallelujah, I, I want you to seek it because when you seek, that's when you're going to discover. He said, knock on heaven's door and it will open one day. It'll open for you hallelujah to God be the glory he said a knock on heaven's door and it will one day open for you hallelujah there comes a time hallelujah where you know you give that one more knock when you give that one more prayer and you see the heavens open there, there comes that time when you release that one more seed hallelujah and, it, and it's called the moed of God and I'm going to do a teaching on this um 
I don't know when, whenever he releases me to do it, but there comes a moed of God. It's the divine timing of God, or, or we can talk about the kairos of God. Hallelujah. Where, you know, things that you've done before, you, you know, it didn't produce the same results in the same moment. But when you come to the fullness of time, and I believe God that that's where many of us are right now. You are at the fullness of time. Hallelujah. Where you are just that one prayer away, you know, that you're just that one action away. Hallelujah. And this one is the one that unlocks everything that you've been praying for, everything that you've been believing for. In the name of Jesus, we are in the fullness of time. We are in, hallelujah, that divine crescendo of God. We are in that divine, uh, I, I want to call it a combustion. This is when, hallelujah, everything is coming to a head. This is where, hallelujah, when God is revealing, he's exposing, he's doing, this is the fulfillment of time. This is the fullness of time. The fullness of time. I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. You know, there was, I'm sure Hannah had prayed many times, praying to God, asking God to remove the reproach, asking, hallelujah, that she would no longer be barren. Oh God, is this the one time? Listen, and she went to God and she prayed. And when she went to God and she prayed this time, that that's, that's when, that's when, hallelujah, because it was just time. You know, that time that they went up to worship could have been like any other. They went up there every single year, but this time it was different. This time was different. And the man of God spoke to her and he said, the Lord thy God is granting you what you requested. Hallelujah. And it said that her husband made love to her again. They had made love before. First of all, you couldn't even be married. That's how it was consummated. This wasn't the first time, but this was the time. I released it over somebody today. Hallelujah. That this is the time. Hallelujah. I know you've done it before, but this is the time. This is the fullness of time. The Bible says, says in Genesis chapter number 18, where the angels visited Sarah, hallelujah, and they visited Abraham, hallelujah, and the angels said, hallelujah, by this time next year, she will have that child, that promised child. Now, God had promised to them the child, the promise, when Abraham was 75, at this point, he was 99, it was 24 years later, but he said, by this time next year, oh, bashe, hallelujah, and he was, I'm sure, he, he was able to make, a, he was, he get, God gave her strength to conceive and he gave Abraham strength to be able to handle his business and this time hallelujah they have been married for years they've done things for years but this was the time where she was impregnant oh my God today there is a fullness of time that the Lord is authorizing in your life and this time it's the same action it seems hallelujah but the results are going to be different they're going to produce results they are going to be hallelujah productive this time this is the fulfillment of time this is the fulfillment of of time in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare this over your life. Hallelujah. That this is the fullness of time. The fullness of time. The fullness of time. I release that over your life today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That this is the fulfillment and the fullness. The fulfillment and the fullness. The fulfillment and the fullness. I just got to say that again. Hallelujah. Because this is that time. It's different this time. In the name of Jesus. Absolutely. A due season. God bless you, Prophet Gabriel. And so listen, hallelujah. It, it said, hallelujah, knock on heaven's door and one day it will open for you. This is the day, hallelujah, that heaven is getting ready to open for you. It says every persistent person will get what he asked for. Every persistent person will get what he asked for. This is not your time for you to give up. This is not your time to feel like I've been knocking for so long. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I don't know if it'll ever happen. Maybe I should just let let go and quit. It says every persistent seeker will discover what he needs and everyone who knocks persistently will one day find an open door. Hallelujah. One of these doors got to open because one of them got my name on it. I'm going to keep on knocking. I'm going to keep on knocking. One of them got to have my, it got to open for me because God promised me an open door. So one of these things, they got to be for me. He said, let me ask you this. Do you know of any father who would give his son a snake on a plate when he asked for a servant? a fish? Of course not. Do you know of any father who would give his daughter a spider when she asked for an egg? Of course not. If imperfect parents know how to lovingly take care of their children and give them what they need, how much more will the perfect heavenly father give the Holy Spirit's fullness when his children ask him, oh my God today, in the name of Jesus, how much more, what more would God do for you and for me? 
Listen, the message translation says, hallelujah, here's what I'm saying. In other words, let me make it real, real simple for you. Here's what I'm saying. Ask and you'll get and seek and you'll find. Knock and the door will open. Some of you are afraid to knock. Some of you feel like, you know, uh, um, and you just assume just because the door was closed, but the door was unlocked. Some of you just need to turn the door again. You just need to turn the handle again because you need to believe again in the name of Jesus. Ask and you'll get it. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open. Don't bargain with God. Be direct. Ask for what you need. This is not no cat and mouse game. This is the message translation verse number 10. Hide and seek the game we're in. This is not what it is. If somebody is, you're not going to scare your child. You're not going to give them something different than what he asked for. And don't you think the father who conceived you in love will give you, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit. When you ask him, God is going to give you exactly what you've been praying for what you've been believing God for, I decree and declare. I heard the Lord say this this morning. If you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more would I, your heavenly father, do for you in the name of Jesus? And so I just release that upon you today in the name of Jesus. Because you're like, Lady Jeremiah, what, what's going to be different about it this time? I've been asking for a long time, but it comes a point in time where it's the fullness of time. It's the crescendo of time. It's just time because God said it's time. Listen, and hallelujah, this is the time because God says it's time. Hallelujah, it's going to be different this time because it's time now. I know you asked me for that car when you were 10 years old, but you weren't old enough even to get your license. Now it's time. I know you asked this a million times over, but now it's time because heaven is in agreement with you because I have a work and that needs to be accomplished in Jesus mighty name. Now is the time. It's the fullness of time, but you have not because you asked, not because you quit asking because it hadn't happened before because you felt a type of way because you weren't seeing it coming to pass just yet hallelujah but the Lord is saying this morning that this is your time this is your season this is your hour I will knock I will seek I will ask again I will believe again I will believe big again hallelujah this is the time this is the season Hallelujah. And even yesterday, as the Lord said, hallelujah, that he is giving you your new now. Hallelujah. That this is the new now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so this morning, as I was awakening out of a dream, and you know, I had one dream. And so then I was dreaming again. And it was literally right before, you know, 30 minutes before it was time to get on the prayer line. And as I was processing, I just remember looking at, at a, one of the child children that I was caring for. And I was caring for him and um, he had looked worried and so I began to speak to him and, and, and I told him literally I, I told him I said it's time for you to get your things it's time for you to get your things and he was like what do you mean I said it's time for you to pack up you're going home it, it, it's something that he had been asking for he had been desiring he wanted it with all of his heart but it wasn't time before and then there it was like nothing and nothing mattered there was no excuse there was nothing that could get in the way. It was like, it's just time to pack up. Hallelujah. The thing that you've been praying for, it's time for it to happen. And literally he was almost in disbelief for a moment because for some people it's hard to hope again. And so when it finally shows up, you're afraid to hope because is my heart going to get broken again? Am I going to be disappointed again? And so you're afraid to even be excited again. And it was like nothing. There was nothing that could get in the way. And I told him a couple of days ago, I said, there was nothing that you could do too bad. That, that, that's not what's holding you up at this point. I said, and there's nothing that you can do too great that's going to move this any faster. Hallelujah. It's about the decision of those who are making decisions. Hallelujah. And I release that over you today. Hallelujah. That the Father in heaven is saying that it's not about anything that you did too bad that is holding you up or holding you back in the name of Jesus. There is nothing that you can do too great. I need you to remain in position. Hallelujah. But it's about a decision in heaven. Hallelujah. It's about your father in heaven and so literally came to him and I said, it's time for you to pack up because there was nothing or nobody who could hold up or change what was being released. What was because it was ordered. It was orders from above. It was ordered from the person that had authority. It was ordered from the person who had the ability to control the whole situation. And they said, hallelujah, it's time. It's time. It's time. And the Lord told me to encourage somebody today. Hallelujah. That it's time. It's time. It's time because the heavens have released the order because 
but your father God who is in control who is the guardian of your soul says that it's time in the name of Jesus and so hallelujah there is nothing that can hold it back there is nothing that can hold you back when God says it's time it's just time and so literally it was like uh, you know you've heard me say before when God gets ready everybody got to move everything has to move it doesn't matter what people's opinions are it's not a matter what they think about it it doesn't matter if you feel like you're not ready for it it's showtime baby it's on listen it's showtime baby it's on and so literally as I was awakened from this dream I looked at this person that I provided care for and, and so hallelujah and, and I told them I said see you were worried I said didn't I tell you when I got you I got you you don't have to worry when I got you I got you and the father told me to release that over you all today because me even as a parent unto him hallelujah the father was revealing his fatherly nature unto you and unto me and he said what are you worrying about I told you when I got you I got you but it was already in a past tense do you hear me what I said it was already in a past tense in other words it's already been done it's already been happening it's already been fulfilled it's already been released from heaven hallelujah and I told them I, I told him I said did not tell you what are you worrying for you don't have to worry when I told you I got you I got you listen hallelujah the Bible says in John I believe it's chapter number 14 and Jesus told his disciples, he said, I tell you these things before it happens. So when it happens, you will believe me. You will believe. And the Lord has said many of things. Hallelujah. And you've allowed a time and to cause your heart uh, to get weary along the way. And, and you know, uh, it, the Bible says that, that, you know, hope deferred has made the heart sick. And some of you, your heart has become sick and you be, be become weary. But the Lord wanted me to remind you of his promises to you. He said, because I told you beforehand not to make you feel leery not for your hope to be deferred in Jesus name but that when it happens you will believe hallelujah and the Lord told me even as I was releasing this in past tense hallelujah didn't I tell you not you don't got nothing to worry about I, I told you I got you and when I got you I got you and the Lord has said hallelujah I carry you I hide you in my heart and when I tell you I got you I got you when I tell you I got it I got it you have no need to worry you have no need to fear you have no need to be uh, unsure or afraid or insecure you have no reason to uh, get out of uh, out of line out of order out of position out of alignment because when I told you I got you say the Lord I got you I got it handled I got it covered I got it all worked out didn't I tell you see when I did it it was gonna be done and it was gonna happen quickly and it was gonna happen suddenly in the name of Jesus listen there are other people who don't want to be in convenience but he said I the Lord your God I when I have you hallelujah and I have you in the palm of my hand I got a divine timing for you and a divine release in the name of Jesus and the Lord is saying this morning when I got you I got you father I thank you this morning in the name of Jesus how you have us, your children in the palm of your hand. You're already causing things to be worked out for our good in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that it's already settled in heaven and we're getting ready to see some things shift quickly in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And there are some of you that feel like, you know, that there's a situation or a circumstance that happened and you feel like it's going to describe qualify you and the Lord says hallelujah ask and you shall receive and even as even as this word begins hallelujah keep forgiving oh God keep me forgiven keep me from affecting myself hallelujah and keep me forgiving unto others in Jesus name father I just need you to keep me keep me safe from myself and the devil oh God I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would keep your people safe from their selves and safe from not getting in their own way in the name of Jesus hallelujah Father, I thank you that you are a good, good father. And if we being evil know how to give good gifts to our children, if me being flesh and human could tell him, don't worry when I say I got you, I got you. And I show up right on time. Of course, absolutely. You are God of the universe. You are the most supreme. You are the most almighty. Hallelujah. And when you say you got us, you got us. And it's all worked out in the name of Jesus. When you say, hallelujah, you, you got us, you got us, and you got it all worked out. Father, I thank 
thank you so much in the name of Jesus for the fullness of time, the moed of time. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, this present time, this present moment. Hallelujah. Where the fullness has come in Jesus mighty name. Father, I thank you that this is the prayer. Hallelujah. That is crossing over. Father, I thank you even as I was running a marathon. Oh my God. And I got to the end and it seemed like it would never end after the last two one, one mile. But listen, there was one more step that crossed me over the finish line. Father, I thank you that your people have another step and they're getting ready to cross over into their finish line. They're getting ready to cross over into their promised land. They're getting ready to cross over and possess everything that you call them to possess in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that it's just time. Hallelujah. And when it's time, everybody got to move. Everything has to move. Everything has to shift. Everything has to line up. It doesn't matter who's in position. It doesn't matter who ain't in position. It doesn't matter who, what people think about it. It doesn't matter what it seems like the details are. In Jesus' mighty name, when it's time, it's just time. And things come together and they come together quickly because it's the authorization and the impending authorization of the Lord. And so, Father, I release that right now in the name of Jesus over your people right now. Hallelujah. That it's just time. That it's just time. It's just time. It's time for their breakthrough. It's time for their deliverance. It's time for the salvation of their family members. It's just time. It's time for their marriages to work out. It's time for them to start the business. It's time for the clientele to come. It's time for the overflow. It's time for the increase. It's time for the financial ability. It's time for the healing. It's time for you to for the reparations to take place. I don't know who that's for, but it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Oh God, whatever got to be worked out, however got to be worked out. Lord, if it's, if it's a move that got to happen, if it's moving trucks that are necessary, if it's the financial resources to make that happen, everything got to move. It all got to come together and I decree and declare that it's coming together right now in the name of Jesus. If kids got to act right so that you can be able to write the book or, or if you got to be able to set your focus oh god everything has to move it got to line up to the lord hallelujah so you can do what you need to do in the name of jesus hallelujah when it's time it's just time hallelujah if you can't get to do this because it's time to do that oh father i thank you that it's just time it's just time oh god hallelujah whatever angel i think thank you holy spirit he said listen it's like many of you are when you're pregnant and if you're pregnant and and, and your water break it doesn't matter if you finish washing the dishes. It doesn't matter if the clothes is clean. It doesn't matter if you still needed to sweep the floor. It doesn't matter if you still needed to go to the bank. It doesn't matter what appointments that you had on the on the calendar. Listen, hallelujah. You got to go because it's just time. Listen, I feel the glory. And what do they say? When they feel their water break, when they feel the contraction and they know that that one's different. They say it's time. You look at somebody and you say it's time. I need you to look at the Holy Spirit in the spirit. I need you to look at somebody next to you. I need you to tell yourself. I need you to look at yourself in the mirror and say it's just time. It's time. It's my time. It's time for me to give birth. It's time for me to release it by the spirit of the living God in Jesus name. And it don't matter what else seemed to be on the calendar. It don't matter what you feel like you didn't give attention to. It doesn't matter what you didn't feel like you got right before. Hallelujah. Now is the time to do everything you need to do because when your body which is natural tells you it's time for it to happen hallelujah it don't matter what else wasn't done what else wasn't accomplished it doesn't matter if you got your hair done or if you didn't get it done you wanted to get cute you want to get your nails done you want your feet right so before you but it doesn't matter listen because there's things when you're giving birth to life it may not be cute. It's not always cute. As a matter of fact, most often time, it's not cute when you're giving birth, when you're giving birth to purpose. Hallelujah. And it knows how to do what it needs to do. And it has a clock all of its own. And there are many things for the people of God. It has a clock of its own and it has a timing of its own. And it doesn't matter when you don't feel like that you got together, whatever you were able to get together. Listen, hallelujah. Now at this point, I don't even care if you got your car seat and you're, it's time to give birth. We focusing on one thing at a time. Somebody else might need to bring that to you later. Father, I thank you for this time of preparation. Father, I thank you for this release of being able to understand the timing of wherein we are in the name of Jesus. Father, I give you glory for it right now. Oh God, I thank you for those that you will have assigned to us in this season, in Jesus' mighty name, that will be able to get to whatever we didn't before. It's time because it's coming and it's coming quickly. For some of you, it's coming 
even unexpectedly. And when it hits, it's just going to be, it's just going to open up. Hallelujah. It's just going to happen so quickly. Things are going to come together. And that which you've been concerned about trying to figure out one, two, three, four, five, six steps. Hallelujah. It's just going to happen and it's going to roll out and it's going to happen just like it was supposed to. So father, I thank you for the divine, the divine uh, doors of do- domino doors. Uh, the, 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 yeah. Thank you. Holy spirit. The divine domino of doors. Hallelujah. That's getting ready to happen where this door opens up that door that opens up that door. And father, I thank you that we will be ready in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that there are some that are getting ready to have a change of garments, but everything is going to line up at the right time in the name of Jesus father. And for that, I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I thank you for the coming together of so many things. If it's reconciliation that is necessary, if there's forgiveness that is necessary, Father, I thank you that you will give your people the words that they need. In Jesus' mighty name, you're going to give them the instruction that they need. In Jesus' name, the wisdom that they need. In Jesus' name, I thank you for the courage, oh God. In the name of Jesus, they will have courage in you, Father, and they will continue to move and go forward. In the name of Jesus, I release that over your people, Father, because when it's time, it's just time, and it's just time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Father, it's the time for your people. It's the fullness of time. It's time for them to walk in victory. It's time for them to walk in freedom. It's time for them to walk hallelujah debt free. It's time for them to come out from where they are. Oh God, it's time for them to come out of Lodibar. It's time for them to come out of Lodibar where there is no communication. It's time for them to come out of Lodibar where everybody was sin when they had, when they were lame or, or when they had, they had disability or they had incapacity. Oh God, but right now, hallelujah, they're being summoned by the king and it's time for them to come out of loaded bar in the name of Jesus. Oh God. And I thank you that when they're at the table, nobody's going to be able to tell. And it doesn't matter what's under the table. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Because you've already positioned them and you have a seat at the table for them that no one can stop and no one can block in Jesus mighty name. Nobody could stop this. Nobody could delay it because the king's order said it's time. It's time for you to come out a loaded bar. And so father, I thank you that you are getting some people that literally feel like they have been crippled. They feel like they have been delayed. They've been somewhere for nothing. They thought that they were all forgotten about. Oh God, but you have not forgotten about your people and you are summoning them in the name of Jesus. It's time for you to roll out. It's time for you to get your stuff. It's time for you to pack up. I know that you never thought this day was coming anymore. I know that you thought it was impossible, but God says it's time for you to roll up in Jesus mighty name name because it's time for you to bust a move. Oh God, I thank you that you are transitioning many of your people in the name of Jesus. You are shifting them. You are moving them. Literally, you are propelling them. You are transitioning them. Oh God, and the elevation is so great. The move is so great and it's happening so quickly. Father, I thank you that their lives today is not even what going to look like what it's going to look like 30 days from now, 60 days from now, 90 days from now, three months from now, six months from now. Oh God, literally, it is a transition in the transformation of a lifetime. Oh God, hallelujah. When, when Mephibosheth left Lodabar, his life never looked like that again. Oh God, and some people are, they're ready to return back to the royalty that they once had. Somehow something changed and they've been so away from what you called them to for so long. Oh, but the king has ordered a decree in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that literally their lives are going to shift what feels like overnight. And, and, and thank you, Father. He says overnight is too long. Literally, your life is going to change in literally amount of moments, amount of minutes. Oh God, I thank you that all we needed was the king's decree and the king's order. And he said, didn't I tell you, don't worry, don't worry. When I say I got you, I got you. Oh God, I thank you that we can release every worry to you in the name of Jesus. I think that, I thank you right now that we can release all the concern all the heaviness, oh God, in the name of Jesus, it didn't matter that you didn't have no clothes yesterday, Mephibosheth, it didn't matter that you couldn't put your pants on yesterday, oh God, I thank you, Father God, hallelujah, that you're going to send us the help that we need to make up for the for the deficiencies that your people might have had, Father, in Jesus' name, I make no excuses, oh God, but those you are preparing them and you are making them ready, Father, and you are encouraging those who felt like they were ill-equipped or they were disabled and nobody wanted them anymore, Father, you 
are summoning for them in the name of Jesus. Your decrees are being ordered for your people in the name of Jesus. That now is the time, the hour of the shift in Jesus' name. So no longer will they feel insignificant or inferior or incapable or unable. And I speak faith and truth to your people in the name of Jesus that they will complete the assignment that you called them unto in Jesus' mighty name. Because when it's just time, you got to be ready. Some of you, hallelujah, God is going to cause you to have platforms. You're going to have speaking engagement. You're going to be coaching. You're going to be doing a lot of things and you need to have your literary work in hand. And so, Father, I thank you for these moments that we have. It's almost like a gasp. And, and by the time you catch your breath, it's time for you to go on stage. Oh, God, hallelujah. So during this gasp, where they gasp for air, where they take a moment, Father, I thank you that they will take these moments to carry out the instructions that you have for them. Oh, God, it's time for them to get busy because any moment, any second, any day now, literally their lives will change forever. Father, I thank you for those who will have an ear to hear what thus saith the Lord this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that your word is true then, and your word is life. And, and I thank you that you are a good, good father. And you love your people. Hallelujah. I thank you that you are a good, good father. And he said, <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, yeah, I love you, but I also got a work for you to do in Jesus' mighty name. So, Father, may we realize that this is bigger than us and it's more than just about us, Father. It is about kingdom work and kingdom assignment. And that is why it's a divine timing of everything. It's not just to bless you with the house on the hill so you can be cute. Oh, God, but it's about kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. And when it's about kingdom, hallelujah, there's some things that just come with it. Hallelujah. It's just some things that come with the territory. Oh, so Father, I thank you. May we not be caught up with the things that we will receive that come a part of the package of the assignment and the work that you have for us, Father. And may we be about our Father's business in the name of Jesus, understanding that it is time, it is time, it is time. And for those of you who have gotten off, who have gotten off, who you have gotten off, you've gotten off course, you've gotten delayed or you've gotten discouraged and you stopped doing the things that you were supposed to do because you were so excited, you were so gung-ho that as you began to work on it, you felt like it was going to transition you and you were working on it because it was part of your vision. But when it didn't happen, when you didn't think it was going to happen, you delayed, you stopped short, you fell short, you waited and God is saying, hallelujah, what's getting ready to happen is going to happen so quickly and that's why I wanted you to have it done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But, but at the same time, Father, I thank you that there is grace. I thank you that you have grace. Hallelujah. Because it's for such a time as this. Literally, your life is getting ready to change in moments. And so, Father, may we take advantage of the time that you've given us right now so that when we open those doors, when we go through those doors, hallelujah, that we will have what we need in hand in Jesus' mighty name. Because it, it, the time is coming where you will not have all that time to get things together because it's literally just ha it's just time and it doesn't matter anymore at that point. And so father, hallelujah. I thank you that we will not leave other things for others to do because we failed to do what we needed to do or could have done when we could have done it. And so father, I thank you right now for those who will have an ear and who will get busy about what you said. There's some, I just see documents. I, I see, uh, I see literary work. I see instruction manuals. I see books, things that need to be written. I see websites that need to be built. I see um, character that needs to be had. Listen, if father was to reveal to you, you know, some of you've been praying for your husband. You, you've been praying that the Lord will bless you with a husband or with a wife. Are you ready for when they come or will you not be able to identify them or them identify you because you're not in position because you're not ready. Father, make us ready in the name of Jesus. Father, we will stop moping and crying and complaining and we will take advantage of the time that you've given us to do the things that we need to do. Setting things in order as you've allowed us and released us because now is the Moed time. It's the present time. It's the momentous time. It's the Kairos of God. It's the Kairos and the Kronos of God meeting up in divine timing in the name of Jesus. We're the fullness of time. Oh, Basha. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you that we are just a prayer away. We are just a move away. Hallelujah. We're just a wake up away. <laughs> I don't know why. This is also something that comes to me. You know, you hear people who are in prison and then the Lord, he likened it to even Joseph, how he woke up one morning. He had interpreted dreams over two years prior, but he woke up one morning. It was like, roll up, Joe, Jojo, I need you to roll up. I need you to go on ahead and get in the shower, put these clothes on. You're going to go meet the king today. You're getting ready to meet Pharaoh today. Father, I thank you that there are some people that they would have gone to bed. They might have even had tears on their pillow, but as they awaken, if they're going to get the call that they've been waiting for, they're going to get 
get what they need, what they've been hoping for. But Joseph couldn't have the same spirit he had two years prior. And so, Father, I thank you that you are doing the work on us, in us, and through us, and in our spirits, Father. So when you call us, we are ready to come forth in Jesus' name. Listen, and when they called Joseph from out of the dungeon, when they called him from out of the pit, it said that he had to shower. He was able to be shaven. He, they were, he was given new clothes. And God has given you a change of garments. Hallelujah. And then he went in before the king. And he, w- he went ahead and he did what he was called to do. And when he did that, he was made. He was made second in charge. But really, uh, Pharaoh had given him control over everything. What will you do when you get in charge? He gave him a wife. Uh, hallelujah. So his life changed on so many levels. And his status changed on so many le- levels. Literally, uh, upon a wake up. Father, I thank you that many people are getting ready to wake up into what you have called them thereby unto. Hallelujah. What their dreams have been released for, prepared for so many years ago. In Jesus' mighty name. But now the fullness of time. Not only the fullness of time, but you've come to a fullness of you. In the name of Jesus, you begin to realize who you are. Your relationship with the Lord has come to a fullness in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. You're God. You, you, you believe further than you've ever believed before. You pray more than you've ever prayed before. You've come to know him. You desire him. Your relationship with the Lord has grown greater than it had ever been before. Hallelujah. And the fullness of time has come. And so, Father, I thank you. That is time. Whew, I give you glory for it right now. As we are in position and we thank you, Father. We thank you for it now. We thank you that it's done in the name of Jesus, God. We give you glory. Thank you that it's time. God bless you, Pam Gladden, woman of God. Much love to you in Jesus' name. Now is the fullness of time. Now is fullness of time. God bless you, Trudy McGee. Thank you, those of you who are joined in. God bless you, Mama Moses, uh, Lady Carla, Ronisha Henderson, Runette, Miss Terry Howard, Mary Elva, Catherine, Hallelujah, Shannon, Beverly Putman, Chef Ange. Thank you all so much for the super hearts. May the blessings of the Lord overtake you, woman of God, in Jesus' name. Thank you for every thumb up, every heart, every share, every invite. Oh, God, we give you glory this morning we give you honor we give you praise thank you father Thank you, Father, that we even even now as we speak and release this word to your people, hallelujah, that they have no need to worry, that the, you told them before it happened, not for them to get weary along the way, but so that when it happens, they would believe, oh God. And I thank you that literally their lives are getting ready to change in a matter of moments in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, that they no longer have hope that is deferred, but now is the fullness of time, even according as it was for Sarah, now is the time of the fullness of time, even as it it was for Hannah. Oh, Father, I thank you that now is the time of the fullness of time. I thank you that it's just time. It's just time. It's just time. Thank you for your timing. It is divine, Father, and we give you glory. Hallelujah. When you say you got us, you got us. I thank you that you have all, you have all things in control concerning us, your people, in Jesus' name. You already have it all worked out. And so, Father, whatever worries or fears that your people have, Father. We lay them at the foot of the altar. We lay them at the foot of the cross. Oh God, this morning in Jesus' name, we exchange your yoke for ours in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Father, I thank you that we can trust in you because it's all part of your divine plan. So we don't have to try to make nothing happen. All we got to do is hear from you, Father God, and do the parts that you've called us to carry out in Jesus' name. And literally, I just see the Lord. Hallelujah. It's like he's going to tap you on your shoulder and say, okay, Come on, it's time to go. Father, I thank you for the announcement that your people are getting ready to have. They're, you're, they're getting ready to receive. Hallelujah. They're getting ready to walk into the fullness of what you've had for them for so long in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that this is the hour where dreams are fulfilled and they're completed and they're performed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I just thank you and I give you glory right now as we count it done in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Don't worry. If you know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more would your heavenly father in heaven give unto you in Jesus name? Don't worry about it. When God says he got you, boo, he got you. And I thank you, Father, that you have it all in your hands in Jesus name. You are in control in Jesus name. And I give you glory. We say yes as we come into agreement with your word in Jesus name. God bless you, Nicole and LaShawn. And unto you moving on purpose in Jesus name. Brother Jeff Saunders, God bless you. 
you this morning. Hallelujah. It is done and it is so. It is done and it is so. Boom, bam. I'm trying to tell you, girl. It's done, Lady Pam. It's done, Lady Pam. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for the divine revelation and insights in which you are blessing and you are rendering unto your people in the name of Jesus. Father, I give you glory right now. I give you glory right now that literally the lives of your people are getting ready to change both now and forever. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, that you are calling your people, that the king has ordered a decree in the name of Jesus, Father. And I thank you that it is it is enforced. It is backed by heaven. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Even some of you. I see it right now like the spirit of Esther, like the spirit of Esther as she was even um, in preparation for 12 months. And it was like, okay, girl, it's your turn. It's time for you to go before the king. Oh, Father, I thank you that it is the time for your people. Hallelujah. Other people have gone before. Other people have gone before and they've gone and they've been dismissed. But, oh, Father, I thank you that there is something that is special inside of your person. Oh, and they don't have to be worried about whether or not they will be ready because they are ready because their hearts are humble and it's no longer about them and what they want everyone was given an opportunity to choose what they wanted before they left the quarters and then before they went in before the king oh but esther was different she asked the guard she said what or the keeper of women she asked him she said what is it the king likes i only want what the king like oh father i thank you that we have come to the realization and the desire in our heart where we only want what you want as the king oh god and so that is what we desire to have is what you want for us to have in jesus name and so, Father, because we've come and we have that heart in that place, of course, why not? Why wouldn't you choose us? Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. That as Esther left the quarters at that moment, at that time, it didn't matter how many women had gone before her in Jesus' name because it was just her time and she was chosen. Father, oh my God, would she have ever gotten in position and that she hadn't, wasn't deposed? Father, I thank you that when it's just time, it's just time. And whoever got to get up out of our spot, got to get up out of our spot because there's a work for us to do and you're putting your people in position position hallelujah not just for today but also for a time that is to come father i thank you when it's time it's just time and you're causing it to happen in jesus mighty name Oh, Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. There are some of you, it's like, you ain't going to have to worry about going there. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about going back, Father. I just thank you. Hallelujah. That you're going to cause when we have this meeting. Hallelujah. When we have this announcement. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Ha having one moment with the king. Oh, God. A night before the king. It changes everything. Father, you are the king of kings and the Lord of lords. In Jesus' name. And I thank you that you have prepared us for such a time as this. Oh, God. Now is the fullness of time. Father, I thank you that there is a reckoning hallelujah and i thank you that is done you're going to make sure we have everything that we need father thank you for the humility hallelujah you it, it, even in the bible it says in deuteronomy chapter number eight hallelujah that god sent you through the wilderness to test you and to prove you what was in your heart oh god thank you for the time of testing the time of proving the time of preparing in the name of jesus oh god i give you glory i give you honor i give you praise and thanksgiving that literally your people have been going through a time of purging cleansing and preparation in the name of jesus it all didn't feel good but it was making them ready oh god in the name of jesus it is done and it is so hallelujah even as we come into agreement with your word your purpose and your promise in jesus name hallelujah who god the promise still stands hallelujah great is your faithfulness great is your faithfulness in the name of jesus we praise you and honor you. Amen and amen. Beloved, I love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, listen, hallelujah. I don't want to add any more to this. It's not about me adding anything to it. We just come into agreement with what is on heaven's heart. And I just believe God that when we come into agreement, what is on the father's heart, what's on heaven's heart, we see magnanimous things occur. We see them happen in Jesus name. And so, hallelujah, that's what it's all about. The Bible says in 1 John chapter number 5, 14, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Hallelujah. And so when I pray what I hear, hallelujah, I know that he hears me. And if he hears me, we know that we have whatsoever we ask of him according to the word of the Lord. And I just believe God that we have heard from him this morning. We've come into agreement. We've said back to him what we heard him say, that we received the fact that he got us and he's about to transition us. And so, Father, I thank you right now. As 
because we are in agreement with that and we are getting ready to literally see it happen. Get ready because any moment, any moment, it's going to be your time for you to roll up and roll out. Any moment, any second, it's going to be time. That's that contraction that changes everything. Any moment, any time, that's when your water begins to break and you just, it doesn't matter what's not finished. You just got to go because it's time to give birth and literally your life is never the same. Some of you, it's been on the inside of you for so long, but right, it's getting ready to be on the outside of you. And so Father, I thank you that we will use these few moments. I just feel like it's just a few moments. Hallelujah. You, you, you It feels like it's so far. You don't know when it's going to happen. It's been so uncomfortable. It's been so long and enduring, but it's like a any moment, any day now, any second now. And when it happens, it's going to happen so quickly. And so, yes, years and years, but when it's time, it's just time and it's just going to be time and it's going to happen so quickly. You ain't going to have time to get stuff together. Oh my God, it's going to have to be whatever it is. Hallelujah. In Jesus name, Father, I thank you that this is the day. It didn't matter what, what other assignments Joseph had, uh, um, you know, when he was even in, in Egypt in the dungeon, it didn't matter what his other responsibilities were. It didn't matter, you know, if he had to, to tell people, it, it didn't matter. Hallelujah because Pharaoh has summoned for him. Hallelujah. God is summoning for you. He's ordering the decree for you. And it's not going to matter what you don't have tied up. Now, that doesn't mean be irresponsible about where you are. Hallelujah. Do what you can do with what time you have left. But just know, hallelujah, that when things change, they're going to change quickly. So you got to go ahead and bust a move real quick with what you got to have finished, what you, whatever God has had you working on. Hallelujah. Because when your life changes, it will change forever in Jesus name. And so I love you, beloved. Be blessed. Hallelujah. If you don't follow me, make sure you hit the three buttons on the bottom on Periscope and make sure you follow me on Facebook and Hallelujah. It's my honor, privilege, and pleasure to render unto you what I hear thus saith the Lord in Jesus' name. If you feel led to sow, hallelujah, you can do so at dollar sign Lady Jeremiah on Cash App. If you have prayer requests, please send them to me at Morning Manor with Lady Jeremiah on Facebook. If you have praise reports, please post them to the wall and let us rejoice with you in Jesus' name at Morning Manor with Lady Jeremiah as well. I love you with the love of the Lord. I'm very clear on my assignment to hear from the Lord, to release the word of the Lord to his people in Jesus' name, that you do not move yourself out of position but this is your time of possession of promise in the name of Jesus this is your time for you to have strength the hallelujah that you need to conceive and that you would bring forth in the name of Jesus this is your time this is your season hallelujah and when it's just time it's just time hallelujah it's time I just see that in the spirit can you imagine I'm sure you've seen it before or if you've been pregnant and you look and you say it's time you felt it it's different it's time we got to go to the hospital you're gonna have that baby in the car it's time it's time everybody got to move there's a hurried expectancy hallelujah and it's time for you to get in an expectancy an expectation in Jesus name it's time for you to move a little bit quicker because it's time I love you beloved be blessed Hallelujah. Don't forget today is the conclusion um, of our fasting for Passover unless the Lord says something different. Um, today marks the end at sundown of our Passover season. And so, um, or I should say of our Passover time frame uh, for the actual um, holiday where we reverence the ordinance of Passover. And so we've been fasting every day until three o'clock and uh, no fast foods, no fried foods, no junk foods or anything like that. No processed foods and hallelujah. And so as we go in, no breads as well. And I just believe God that there's a momentous timing. I believe God that there's a momentous timing and it's like any day now in Jesus name. And so we are uh, doing that. We're, we're still redu re reducing our social media. And I would just encourage those of you because the season that you're in is such a, um, it's such a, a divine timing and you need to be able to hear from the Lord. Many of you need to purge and purify your ear gates and your eye gates. And so I challenge you, you know, to watch what you're watching on TV. I need you to think about what you're thinking about. I need you to watch the words that are coming out of your mouth. And I need you to reduce your social media so that you have more time to press into the Lord. Listen, hallelujah. Just like you consecrate your money or you tithe your money and you should, we are consecrating our day to the Lord, tithing our time to to the Lord. And so every day at minimum, we are intentional about two hours and 24 minutes. That's 10% of your day where you spend time in the word of the Lord in prayer and in meditation and 
in worship and in praise. You know, you'll be surprised how many people you only praise God based on a song or you say, thank you, Jesus, or you say, thank you for your food. But when it comes to that serious, deep intercession, this is the time where your prayers move heaven because you're in agreement with the timing of heaven and the timing of God. Hallelujah. So we're intentional about that as well. Speaking of that, our daily Bible reading, as we read the Bible every day for a year, we're in chronological order. And so the chapters that we are have for today are coming from Psalms chapter number 81, Psalms 88, and then 92 through 93. Again, daily Bible reading is Psalms 81. It's also 88 in Psalms and Psalms 92 through 93. I love you with the love of the Lord, beloved. I pray that you be blessed. Have a great, good, and godly day. Don't let your day dominate you, but you choose to dominate your day. The promise still stands. I want to encourage you. Hallelujah. What were you worrying for? What are you you worrying for it's already like father showed it to me it was past tense like why were you worrying it's already done and he said when I told you I got you I got you not when I told you I'm gonna have you it's gonna happen hallelujah but it's already in advance I see it on the other side and it was like what would you worrying for in the first place oh my god God is about to do it and so I just thank God for those of you who are connected you're not gonna miss your moment you're not gonna miss your season hallelujah this is a divine cycle and time in of God hallelujah and so we're going to release that we are going to release that hallelujah because many of you just need a revelation hallelujah so I love you be blessed we're going to listen to this song on the way out of here I believe God that he has done what he was said he was going to do and those of you want to listen to the replay you might want to catch it I believe God that it's going to bless you because there has been a shifting in the name of Jesus and we are in agreement with the Holy Spirit hallelujah Mephibosheth hallelujah it's time for you to come forth you're coming out of Lodabar I don't care where you are where you've been hallelujah it's just time i love you beloved she said the replay is on fleek god bless you to those of you hallelujah yeah it's not too late to share again somebody might need to hear this a little bit later yeah uh, 111 111 i think we're up to 125 on periscope i love you all hallelujah god is getting ready to do it he's getting ready to cause it to happen and the time of fulfillment is here in jesus precious name it is so and so it is god bless you much love to you in jesus name